pushes David Rudem and spins it around. Look out, can everybody get through? All right, David, get it going. It hit square on the rear end, but the 18 just run right over us. Well, you hear David, or the spotter talking about Kyle Busch. He was 11th at the time. Yeah, it looked like Rudeman got out of the throttle just a little coming, bit, kind of coming. feathering it. Horseshoe will be out. David Rudeman, contact with the 18 of Kyle Busch. And if you remember earlier in the race, Kyle tapped the back of Rudeman. And we're sort of wondering, is this payback? Take a look. Yeah, it, it sure looks like turn it. two right here. Yeah. Rudeman got the worst of it, but uh, Kyle did get some damage on that left rear. On board with Kyle. Still there. Still there. He wrecked himself. Keep coming. There will be a caution. The car is destroyed. My steering wheel knocked a quarter of the turn off. He bent the rear end housing. He bent the truck arm. He bent everything. I have a serious problem with what just happened. And I don't think anybody in the tower is going to do a damn thing about it. And if they don't, then we'll have a meeting afterwards. We're just focused on our stuff here. We're getting the best we can. Secure chief told them they better start wrecking people or you'd quit. So there's a big problem. But all we can do is control what we can control at this point. The contact uh, with the 18, and then uh, you come back and uh, made contact with him. Uh, maybe your interpretation of what happened there. No, we just got to, uh, you know, run over really, really early in the race and, uh, you know, ruined our day. Uh, you know, back the thing in the fence and tore it all up. And my guys work really, really hard on this stuff. All these guys do out here um, to uh, every all the teams. So. Uh, just didn't work out for us today. I had a good air stream machine, had a car that was capable of running in the top 10, and uh, you know, just get wrecked that early in the race for really, really no reason. Just you know, it gets a little old, so um, just didn't work out. You talked about having NASCAR take some action after the incident with the double zero. What would you like to see them do specifically? Nothing. I thought about it more. Whatever. Um, it's just really unfortunate. You know, these guys work their butts off and to put ourselves in the chase and to have the opportunity to try to go after a championship and uh, to have it end up, you know, something like that today. You know, the guy was was loose, said it on the radio, he slid up off the bottom and I got into him unintentionally and, and, and just spun him out. You know, my fault, 100%, but, uh, you know, then the, the retaliation, I mean, to a guy that's, that's in the chase, that's racing for something and, um, you know, he'll be here next year. He could have wrecked me in any of the first 26 races next year, that would have been fine, but um, you know, it's just hard to swallow something like a day like today where we had a solid top five car going. I mean, Dave did a phenomenal job getting us this M&M's Camry to where we could run up front and run those guys down and chase them down. And we had a really good car going and just, um, you know, when we got hit there, it just bent everything under the rear end and we salvaged the best we could, but still far off of where we could have been.